Today we are releasing North Island Robin, Toto Wai, um, on Maunga Taranaki and it's a really exciting day. It's been about over 110 years since we've had this particular type of uh, bird species in this Maunga. So to bring them back um, is absolutely just uh, quite monumental. Uh, I was part of the catching team. Um, I was also part of the pre-feeding team that were involved earlier in February. So here we are in Puriora Forest and we're just setting up a potter trap to catch our robin. We actually go inside and hopefully step on the perch, this particular perch, and um, this will set up the trap. They are beautiful birds, very curious. They like to get close, but sometimes they don't like to get inside that particular trap, that cage. Oh, you're beautiful. So we're a little kaitiaki group from Puriora and our role is to ensure that the taonga, the money that have come from Puriora, are safe and they're entering um, a safe environment as well. You know, and that um, we can see that they're going to be um, protected here and it's just that smooth transition from one paradise to another. It's like uh, walking through a cathedral at the moment. You feel kind of like a guardian bringing these things in. You have these big boxes and you've got to treat them really preciously and try not to bump them and you know, you're just really protecting them until that point. I mean, you can see the smile on people's faces. They're really, really proud of what we're doing here. Project Moma is uh, Hekawa Ora, and Hekawa Ora speaks to revitalising and restoring life back here on Taranaki Maunga, from the beautiful flora that we have to the fauna, to return the bird song to Taranaki, so that's what it's really about. But I think the Maunga is, you know, he, he was shining down us, on us today and he gave us his blessing, and um, not just for us as Manuhiri, but the Tangata Whenua especially. That's just confirming it's the right thing to do. Yeah, the confirmation's been made. That's a tohu or a sign for us that um, we've done the right thing. It's a good thing for all. Yeah, and the Tupuna's proud and he's happy. It's been 110 years, so I hope they like it here. Um, I'll, I'll be surprised if they don't. Keeping birds in a site after release is quite difficult but it's about having really good quality habitat and really big habitat. There's been an aerial 1080 operation in uh, Egmont National Park and we've also now established 1,000 hectares of trapping and in intensive grid, specifically focusing on rats because rats are our primary predator for North Island Robin. So here we have an A24 good nature trap. There's a total of 2,160 A24 traps. So this is the largest area, 1,000 hectares, set up of A24 traps in a grid, not only in New Zealand, but also the world. We do have a, a team of people who will be out over the next well, week or so, maybe a little bit longer, and they'll be looking for birds and feeding them. The great thing about um, little robins is we lure them in using mealworms, that's how we catch them because they'll do just about anything for a mealworm. Um, these are the mealworms that the robins eat, but I didn't get to feed the wiggly critters to them today. So the toto wai will be, be one of those um, smaller species that not only will be able to hear, but because it's such an inquisitive species, will actually be able to see. Hopefully, come this breeding season, they'll start August, September, They'll get down to it and hopefully we end up with lots more robins. I think the collaboration between DOC and the Department of Conservation, Te Papa Te Whai Iwi, and the Next Foundation and our other founding sponsors is really critical towards the success of such a project because having broader community involvement means that we all are taking on a responsibility to bring life back to our mountain, to our tupuna. 
This will be the first of many releases for Taranaki Maunga, but I think for me personally to be able to hear the voices of the Toto Wai, to hear their song, uh, which we haven't heard here in Taranaki uh, for many years, and to be able to enjoy that song and bring my children here to enjoy that song, I think for me, um, it's going to be something special.